On another day of record heat, many low-income residents don't have functioning air conditioning. We'll tell you how you can help. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. Eric Franke has the night off. First tonight at 10, live team coverage on the heat and the drought. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti looks at our new record high. The night team's Andy Choi is with a group of people praying for rain. But first, our Theo Keith is checking up on apartment tenants without air conditioning. Well, Sarah, if it's advertised, it's got to work, but state law doesn't require landlords to provide AC. The elderly and disabled people, of course, need the cool, and they're reaching out for your help. At first glance, the Parkside Apartments downtown look comfortable. Plenty of air conditioning boxes on the side of the building, but there's no equipment inside most of them. If you're having trouble breathing, it's the scariest thing in the world. Karen Sauer lives here in this government housing. She has a breathing condition, and it's worse when it's hot. Like if I want to walk to the kitchen to get something out of the microwave, I have to run back to my chair and I can't catch my breath. This kind of scary. There are 335 units like hers. We asked the community's parish nurse how many had air. Gosh, I really couldn't tell you that. It's, it's not even half, I'm sure. And that's where Kate Pender says you come in. She takes community donations and buys air conditioners, but they're expensive and there's a lot of need. And unfortunately, I have to prioritize. And that is a really awful thing to have to do because everybody needs something. We'll tell you how to help, but first, how to help yourself. If you're a tenant with air conditioning, what if it breaks and your landlord isn't helpful? People are a little um, testy about it and, and, and very anxious to get something fixed. Brenda Conkle would, runs uh, the Tenant Resource Center in Madison. She says talk to your landlord first, then call the building inspector in your town or city. If there was an air conditioner that was provided with your apartment, then the landlord has to keep that in working condition unless you agreed to something different. Front. But in Karen Sauer's apartment and so many others, that's not the answer. It's unfortunate that someone has to be just so grateful for something which should be so basic in our community at this time. And if you want to donate money for those air conditioners, we put all of the contact information in the news link section at channel3000.com. Sarah. So Theo, if you do have that air conditioning but it's broken, how long do the landlords have to get it fixed. Well, with any luck, it's a helpful landlord and they'll get it fixed that same day. But if the building inspector has to come out, they can order it fixed. It could take a day or up to a week, depending on how the severe, how severe the conditions are inside your unit. And that can be pretty scary these days. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Theo.